Okay, hello Lance. Hello. So what got you interested in, in the mind? Well, I've, I've always been interested in, in different things. Um, I think what really got me interested in the mind was back in 1994, um, I was living in New Zealand at the time, and there was a thing on TV called infomercials, which was part commercial, part sort of uh, educational program. And I watched one particular infomercial by a guy called Marshall Silver called Passion, Profit and Power. And he was quite a charismatic hypnotist and stuff like that. And he was selling this self-development sort of personal um, guide hypnosis kind of program. And at the time I thought, well, I'll, I'll give it a go. I was skeptical, but he was a charismatic kind of guy. So I thought, I'll, I'll give that a go. So I got the program and used it every day like I was supposed to. And I was impressed enough by the results to figure, yeah, I want to do that. So over the years that followed that, I did my own trainings. I became a clinical hypnotherapist. Um, I trained extensively in NLP, design human engineering, design uh, neurohypnotic repatterning, uh, timeline therapy, all sorts of things. Um, I even decided to become a fitness instructor because I wanted to learn about the body, uh, Reiki practitioner, sort of build my way into sort of energy work and things like that. So, and the, the local bookstores and then Amazon.com when it came online sort of made quite a lot of money out of me, I would say, because, you know, I used to uh, indulge in probably three or four books a week. Uh, when they started coming out with audio books in cassette form, I would then start absorbing them that way, which was a, a heck of a lot easier, quite frankly. Um, and then fast forward to about six years ago, um, 2015, I sort of uh, got introduced to the world of brainwave entrainment. Um, and very quickly became known for sort of interesting leading and, and exciting sort of sessions and, and um, articles and, and support and things like that. Uh, one of which, funny enough, because uh, I just have a thing for squirrels, I called Acid Squirrel, and it became sort of almost world famous, I guess you could say, within the industry. And uh, it was just sort of a, a fun trip, synchronised to music into the, into the land of music and light and things like that. And uh, things have progressed and changed a lot from now, uh, from, from there, um, as have squirrels. So yeah, that's kind of what, what got me to, to where I am. Great, so what core things have you learned during that time? Um, yeah, interesting questions. So, you know, I, I guess what the reason I've been into all these sorts of things and, and, and brainwave entrainment is I've always had a desire to understand how the mind works and what makes people successful, what makes people happy, fulfilled, all that sort of stuff. Um, and out of all those studies, whether it be studying business practices or personal development or therapeutic practices, the one thing that always came up as being almost required in order to feel fulfilled or happy or be successful is progress. And I think it's really that simple, um, that success is a matter of, it's, it's a game of neurochemistry. In other words, we're set up habitually and and through evolution to do things that make us feel good we get hits of oxytocin dopamine serotonin all of those all those sorts of things when we do things that are either good for us personally or good for the species as a whole so for instance feeling feeling in love feels good we get hits of oxytocin things like that and it feels good because it leads to bonding bonding leads to procreation which is necessary obviously for a species to continue and it, it, it leads to communities um, coming together, which of course then leads to other advantages like being able to defend yourself and stuff like that. So when you really understand that life is a game in neurochemistry, the rules of the game become quite interesting. It becomes about how you feel about yourself when you're by yourself. You know, it doesn't matter how you feel when you're around other people that can potentially make you feel good. It's when you're sitting alone in your room during lockdown or something like that, that you really start to notice what your mind is like whether it's, it's sort of a, the monkey mind and crazy and, and driving you nuts, or whether you can actually take the time and, and sort of realize, hey, uh, you know, I, I'm okay, I'm, I'm fine, I'm all right. So, and the other thing that I've learned over the years that's quite fundamental, I think, is, and that's around the area of decisions. And that is when you're feeling good and you make a decision, it tends to be a good decision. And I mean, that just makes sense. Whereas if you're feeling bad, you tend to make bad decisions. Now that's a generalization of course, but that's what's kind of led me down the road of feeling that, of, of understanding that how you feel about yourself when you're by yourself is fundamentally the most important thing and, and, and a measure of success, I think, in life. So why Roxiva? Well, yeah, interesting question. So Roxiva Innovations was, was born out of a desire to introduce industry-leading technology for personal and professional development. 
Um, again, it, it's, it's, it's about state management. So, so Roxiva has the, the RX1 has the ability, and, and the RX1 is the first product of Roxiva. There's, there's, there's more to come, and even the RX1 has, has not reached its potential yet. It has a long way to go. But the, it has the unique ability of being able to radically and quickly change people's state whether that be from feeling depressed to feeling euphoric or whether that be from feeling anxious to feeling relaxed. And so the DirectX1 and Roxiva Innovations is all about that. Um, and so part of, part of my role is um, not only um, writing sessions for that, but also writing articles of interest around that sort of area. And um, yeah, and, and one habit at a time, one new decision at a time, it's, it's just really nice to know that even if it's just for half an hour, I can create something that someone can escape from the world and go have a, a really unique experience. All right, thank you very much. Cool, cheers.